You're watching WMAR 2 News. Maryland lawmakers are right now discussing new maps for the state's eight congressional districts in a special session of the General Assembly. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. This is what a map looks like right now of those districts. Only one of them has a Republican representative. That is District 1, which covers all the Eastern Shore, along with parts of Carroll, Cecil, and Hartford counties. Both the state Senate and the House of Delegates are heavily Democratic. Last month, they proposed this map. In it, you can see that that blue district, District 1, expands now partially in a, into Anne Arundel County. That would make Maryland's only Republican leaning district more competitive for Democrats. And Governor Hogan has called that map a quote outrageous attempt to gerrymander the state. A committee chosen by Governor Hogan has proposed this map. This commission's proposal would add parts of Carroll County to the 6th district, which covers Western Maryland, along with Frederick County and parts of Montgomery County. If the commission's version of this map would be approved, it would add more Republicans to the 6th district. We've got more information about the special session on the website right now, WMAR2news.com. And the group focused on implementing the Baltimore Police Department's consent decree has a meeting scheduled for tomorrow. It's going to be a virtual information session focused on complaints that are made against city police officers. The group's also addressing the steps the police department has taken to improve accountability and transparency. That is a virtual meeting that starts tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, everyone. On this Monday, we are tracking our roller coaster temperatures. Boy, are we going to have whiplash before it's all said and done. Gusty winds are on tap for today, and then also we're watching for some afternoon showers. So grab that umbrella before you head out and about. As we move through the rest of today, remember, uh, temperatures are going to bump up into the mid 60s with that southerly flow. And boy, are we going to be mild. That's going to be the name of the game, along with the winds gusting up to about 40 to 45 miles an hour. As we move into the afternoon around uh, 1 o'clock, so in the next hour or so, uh, we will see the first round of showers moving in. Second round comes in at around 5 o'clock and then another round by 7 o'clock this evening, drying out on Tuesday. And then we could see some snow as we head into your Wednesday. So we are going to be dealing with some much colder temperatures in the forecast as we head into your tomorrow. So today about 66, tomorrow 42, and on Wednesday we will be cold enough for some snow, Christian. Keeping a close eye on the forecast this week. Lynette, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR. 2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news weather on the go. You can download the WMAR 2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR 2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR 2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.